Are you interested in presenting your image this way of animation, or even making it into 3D models, all from a single 2D image? The way to do that is by using depth maps. If you're not familiar with the term, it's those black and white images to show you the distance from the camera to the objects for each pixel in the shot. One of the many sites that generates depth maps is Midas. In it, you can easily drop any image in this upload area and hit submit. By the way, this image I'm using is from Google, so just search for anything you want to follow along with us. After a few seconds, this site will give you the maps you need. However, the result is not always that good, like this result we got here. The mid area should appear as black, since it's empty in the PNG we used, but it has a grey color, so there's another site to do depth maps and even do animations with it. On this site called Leopix Converter. We can reuse the same image again by uploading it here, and it will immediately go into animation mode. With those settings on the left, you can control the speed and focus area on this animation. Now what we are here for is the depth map, so go to that section. In it, we can preview the depth mask, and even make adjustments on it. We can also redraw any area by sampling the color from nearby pixels. To save this as a depth map or even animation, you can hit share and save your work in any way you prefer. So let us see the difference between the two depth maps we made. By the way, there is no affiliation to any of those sites, and as I said, Midas can give good maps sometimes, so try them both. Now to Blender, and how we can use this in 3D. Well. First let us add a plane and give it many subdivisions, then in modifiers, add a displace modifier to the plane, and let us create a new texture and use the depth map we generated earlier. Let us first shade smooth the mesh, then, add to it a new material. In it, we will use the same colored image we have as an image texture. We can also connect the alpha to the alpha inside the BSDF node and enable the clip in the material blend mode. You can now go back and control the strength based on the look, and also here, the mesh looks kinda stretched, so I will unwrap it and make it look more fixed. And this is what you get, can be used as something far from the camera and it will give the purpose from it, slap it on a cliff, and with a couple of sculpting moves, it can look nice in any scene. There's another way to get the same result in Blender and might give a cleaner mesh, and that with the use of image to mesh add-on, we explore it in a previous video so check it out if needed, and although we will need a depth map here again, we will start with the image then add to it the displace modifier with the depth map as a texture. This might be a shorter way to get the same result in Blender and generate something like this gate, or even ornaments for big interior shots. And that's it, hope this been useful guys, like this video if you're still here, and leave me your thoughts and comments down below, 
And as always, stay sharp, goodbye.